Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Hearts of Iron 3. It is June of 1940 and our first offensive has ground all the way through the spring into the summer and it is all our, our encirclement is almost complete and we're pretty much stretched to the limit unit wise. We're, we're kind of running out of guys at the front here. I mean we can transfer some from the back to the front if we wanted to. But this is basically the the largest extent I think I could have mounted an offensive right now. And it's pretty damn huge. And I also wanted to show you that Japan is finally making some pretty massive progress in, in China right now. It looks like they've they've done a pretty good job busting through the Chinese lines, but they are going to uh they're gonna run out of good fighting terrain pretty soon and hit the mountain ranges. And they've taken very small parts of Burma and well, they did not take Singapore. They were moving guys into there, but it looked, I bet a bit British ship came by and disrupted the movement. So Singapore is undefended, but they just haven't moved troops in there just yet. So let's continue our offensive. It is going rather well. We're just about to hit the Sea of Azov here. And the only thing left to do after that would be to cut off the Crimean Peninsula, and it will be said and done. All right, so these guys are being dicks. There we go. All right, where's this 40% one? Okay, right here. But we have we have tanks coming in. Not a big deal. We have tanks. Panzerkampfwagen 3 off E. So we're getting better models these days. Moving troops all over the front. Now. Where are... I thought I had an extra unit. Ah, there we go. I was about to say, I thought I had an extra unit somewhere. I do. So who, are they both on the same 90 hours? No, nothing. But there's nobody here, so for lucky, we can drive right down over there and cut them off. Alright, so we're attacking the city here. Very good. There should be two units, there are two units there. Support attack, just like that. So these two units... I'm going to need to move all the way down here for me. And we should be okay. Alright. So. All we need to do is make sure that that last province is cut off. And we'll be fine. And we are going... We're going to, we're, we're going to you know, plug the gap with the best troops we have. Look at the experience on these guys. Jesus Christ. From one offensive, it's almost at 85%. It's 85%. They're attacking me up here. Actually, I want to check on that guy real quick. Diedrich. He's got a lot. Iron Cross Trickster, Logistical Wizard, Ranger, Military Merit, Offensive Doctor, Battle Master, Battle Expert, Waffen SS. What, what's getting close? Well, nothing's getting close right now. Engineer, Fortress Buster, and Defensive. Intercrated Armored Fighting Vehicle Support Battalions, Small Air Search Radar. A lot is going into upgrades right now, but at least we have some going into production and... Oh, actually, uh, some some of the infrastructure knocked off, so finished up. And you can see it, it's it, it was this stuff going down here to get to the front over here. And it, it's actually worked out pretty well, because I have not run into any, any whatsoever any supply issues, which is just awesome. I'm not going to press them until we, we, we complete the encirclement here. And then, I mean, we, we do have more units coming in here, so I'm not worried about this. Rocket artillery ammunition. We do have some rockets. Oh, they rose up directly underneath me. That probably wasn't a good idea. Why are these guys spread... Oh, you know what? We must have... Well, this is just cavalry. We should probably consolidate logistical bombing, really. Huh. I guess they're trying to take out our supplies there. They're also trying to break through right here. Now, where is their cross? Can can is this safe here? Like, well, we can test it by going like that. It is perfectly safe. So we can leave probably leave the the infant. Well, they're both motorized infantry, so they both have 21 hours probably. 
14 hours. So move you over this way. Ooh, these guys got involved in combat and uh, it devolved into chaos. Well, for the Russians. I think we're fine. They're definitely trying to break out of the attack anywhere, any the encirclement anywhere they possibly can. Did we stop? No, we didn't stop. Oh, oh, they were under attack here. I was like, why, why, why aren't they moving? That's fine. No big deal. I th they're 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 hitting me from all sides, and I, I I think it's because they see the writing on the wall. But we could actually start working on them a little bit by throwing a lot of these units into into various attacks. Supply organization and supply throughput or transportation advances. Uh, so that is national. We'll transport as well. Uh, that one come off. Let's see, so national. So that's supply transportation, supply transfer cost, and supply throughput. Very good. And logistical warfare focus. Logistical warfare, I think, is going to be... I'm not going to put a ton into it, and you're going to take a hit to IC, but supply throughput and supply transfer cost. It's just... Ah, oh, it's so good. It's so good, especially when you're talking about huge offensives. So we're definitely going to do that, and... Let's see, well... I'm not worried about this. Alright, you made it over here. You're probably doing perfectly fine attacking this guy. Yes, you are. You can just sweep straight over this way. I'm about to say, it's, n it's not that bad. They're, they're not doing that good of a job attacking me. Let's see, we could probably use some help down this way, though. So let's... See, who can move? Tanks? Tanks. Move them down here. Because we, we, we gotta make sure they don't break out. If they break out, the whole thing is pointless. Wow. Oh, you know what? All, all, a lot of these units are damaged. That's why. But we can, we can help them along. How you guys doing? So, uh, large fuel tank, four engine airframe, destroyer armor, province lost. Ah, more French uprisings. God damn it. So, here. Small ships. Escorts. I like how it's escorts down here and small ships over here. Oh, oh, oh cat on the lap. Cat on the lap. There we go. Alright, so... All we need to do is get right over... Actually, that one should do the trick. If we want to stop right there, we can. Should we? Uh, we have won a battle. We lost 9,000 troops. They lost 14,000. Oh, that's this, that was this one right here. It's like, that was a big battle. We need to make sure they don't break through in any of these areas, though. They're attacking infantry with tanks. That's, that's kind of problematic for me. Tanks, no, that one's that one's fine. This one's fine. We're okay. Ooh, Romanians are making progress, but we're we're gonna take all that land back, so I'm not worried about that. Alrighty. So let's uh, let's start press uh, squishing the pocket out. What is my cat doing? I hear her fucking around with the blinds right now. Whenever my cats are doing something, it makes me nervous because they tend to like to destroy things. We're gonna we're gonna do this later. When 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 this offensive is done and complete, we're gonna take care of that. I mean, they've got a, a decent amount of troops in this pocket here. Decent amount of troops. This is the only one that looks like they're doing a decent job at it, and it's just because they're attacking you know pretty soft units with tanks. Ooh, security units. And this should be, yeah, suppression for pretty much everybody. That should help out in the long run. I mean, it's going to take a while before that filters through the upgrades, but we're okay still. Boom. One, one, good.
not terribly concerned about what the Romanians are doing. I mean, they've actually done a, a pretty good job fighting the, the Russians. I just want to make sure that we squeeze them all down into one little tiny little pocket. Right, one over there. That means these guys can get called off. We don't need them attacking nothing and getting shot out of the sky. We're at Air Force Garrison. Ugh. If they're if they're resorting to garrison troops launching offensive, they're probably pretty pretty um desperate. All right, so there is no way. Yeah, we're going to we're we're gonna plug it plug it up right here, on the the Ismiths here. And when we bring when we have more troops to bring in, we'll we'll, we'll well we have more troops. We just need to wait for them to uh to get down here. They're kind of stuck. All right, so our encirclement is pretty much complete here. Uh, do do escorts destroyers. Our control systems and radar. They're going to be important later on in the game. Alright, we won. Oh, we're, I was going to say, where are we? We're in Romanian land. I mean, if we took it all right now, it would give us this, right? And then anything else they, they did would go to me anyway. I think. Who's in poor supply? First Panzer Army. Just the HQ, really? Uh, you know, maybe it's because he's... Oh, I, thought, I thought that was a swamp. No, it's planes. I, decent level of... I don't know. Maybe it's because they're all, all the supply uh, is going through it. Yep, the encirclement's basically complete. I'm very happy with the way that went. Couldn't have gone better. Could not have gone better. I mean, it could have gone a little quicker, but now it's just uh, down to destroying the army. All right, so, and the uh, the extra units I have are all over here, so we're going to squish the pocket down this way. Take out their air bases. There's, a, there's actually almost a secondary pocket forming right here from the Romanians. A little bit plate construction. That's fine. Uh, that's an armor, too. Advanced armor designs. Yes. Advanced armor designs is definitely sounding like something I'd want to want. Once this battle is complete, man, look at that. That really opens up kind of a big tear in their side. And what, what I'm interested in after this, once, once this falls, I'm going to have so many units uh, prepared for the, uh, for the next assault. And the next, the next thing would be to uh, launch an assault to easily take the Crimean Peninsula and Sevastopol. And then what I would probably do is a concerted effort to take the entire Caucasus region, which would mean probably, probably what I would do is land Marines down here and take this major. This is a level ten naval base, I think, so I can easily support an offensive down here. If we look at the planes. Uh, the terrain map mode. We can get a, we can get across the Caucasus pretty easily if there's not too many units here. We can funnel units in, try to make a a sprint to Baki down here, and then basically have a huge front down here, push it up, take the Caucasus from the south, push up, and try to link up over here. Basically, have an offensive go this way as well, above the mountains and one below the mountains, and try to avoid fighting in the mountains. And then, pro or or we could go and focus on on Leningrad, one or the other. You guys could actually just sit right there. You're perfectly fine there. You don't need to move down. Sit there, accept the assaults. You're fine. Yeah, this is uh, this looks like it's pretty much devolving into a full-on route at this point. I think that's an artillery. Yep. Yeah, this is this is getting real ugly for the Russians. The pockets cut off. They're probably running out of supplies at this point. We have one, two unit, units uh, where we're gonna have them scoot down here like this, all the way down the front. All this land I can take back from the Romanians, which is good. 
I was actually kind of hoping to take care of this uh, pocket myself because I, what, what I wanted to do was carefully squish it down into one province so I can see exactly how many Russian troops were in there. But it looks like the Romanians are, are doing much better than I expected, so I, I can't fault them for that. Uh, oh, those guys are going to do a fine job there. Yep, launch these assaults left and right everywhere we can. Why is my cat screaming? I think he's just lonely. He doesn't like it when we leave the apartment and my wife left early this morning and go to work, so I think he's sad. Alrighty. Yeah, the pocket is definitely collapsing now. There's actually, a, like, on, what I'm seeing is on the outside there's a lot of the conscripts and on the inside there's a lot of the actual army units. The, the, the regulars, which which makes me happy, because that means the good units are the ones I'm going to be destroying, and the crappy units are the ones that have uh, formed on the outside. Oh, they're never going to do anything here. They got a river crossing penalty. Actually, I want to take a look at you, Gadarian. It's pretty good. Experience level 70. Ooh. Did I? Oh, did I forget? I think I forgot to do something. Shit. Where is he? There he is. Damn it, I did forget to do it. Alright, well, we're going to take care of this right now. Damn it, I forgot about that. I can't... I, I, I was... So many... A couple... Like, at least three people reminded me. And I actually made a little note of it on a pad of paper here take care of this, and then I forgot to do it last episode. Damn it, I can't believe I forgot to do that. That sucks. Rommel should have been in charge of them this whole time. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh well. Not a big deal in the end. Units in poor supply. That's not a big deal. Because they'll get uh, the the pockets collapsing right now, so that's fine. Let's actually give the episode a quick save because we're about halfway through, and I want to make sure I don't lose everything later on. Save issues been creeping up here and there again, um, but not not all the time, not regularly. So I'm just trying to be careful. All right, took a little coffee break there. I just noticed uh, looks like some some strategic bombers are getting ripped to pieces over Dusseldorf again. Let's actually take a look at that. Oh, who is... One of my units looks like it's getting wrecked pretty good. It's not this one. Well, I don't even know where they all are anymore. It's gotta be this one right here. No. No. Carriers. Naval bombers. Interceptors. No. Who was it? Was it the one from up here? No, I don't... Where am I... Just not seeing it, I guess. Hmm. Oh, it's this guy right here. Why don't we move him back a little bit, actually? Rebase to right there and just hang out for a bit. Let yourself cool down, and then we'll put you back in combat. So we got a we got a, a secondary minor pocket here created. Let's see, let's support the attack from the side. What do we got here? Uh, let's take these two and move them down. They can get involved. Yeah, they're trying. They see what's happened. They're trying. Not gonna not gonna work though. So what we can do is we can we probably need more squadrons. So we're gonna let them sit down here. Although what we can do is start putting them in reserve. Might be a better idea. These guys are annoying the hell out of me. Probably because I'm not putting too much effort into controlling them and forgetting about things. After this, Sevastopol is going to be the next thing, but it's going to, I'm going to need to do some massive reorganizations. 
guys up here. This is a very small pocket, but I'm kind of digging that it even exists. Yeah, you move down here because you're gonna we're gonna have multiple axes of attack there. It's a little surprised that they're not trying to take Odessa here. We have requested the yes, we have requested the attack and they're not doing shit. All right, everybody, move in. You're attacking there. That's good. I guess we'll see who's here. Oh, my phone. They're attacking me again. They're trying to get out. But they're just about out of organization, so nothing's going to come of that. Not worried. Love that a couple of these guys are finishing up. And then they're getting restarted. All right, we have some mountain divisions. Those mountain divisions are definitely going to be very useful fighting in the Caucasus. Very, very, very useful fighting in the Caucasus. This is a no this is honestly starting to annoy me. So <laughs> let's let's try to turn the flank on them there. It's urban combat, but let's, let's do this. Let's grab one of these guys and tell them to do this and strike down like that. Because they were starting to annoy me there. I actually do wonder how many men are in this pocket here. I don't think it's that many. But it's a it's a decent little amount. Yep, this whole pocket's collapsing now. So, Wolf's Gorge or Wolf's Glens being uh being built. So yep, we're gonna do that because it gives us basically Free radar and things of that nature. If we want to. Ooh. Alright, these guys are a little worn out. Reinforcements left and right for... Well, not reinforcements, but upgrades. Every Well, the tanks got a couple things. Those radios had to go to literally everybody in the army. So it's not entirely unheard of. So what we're going to do is focusing, uh, we're going to focus on reducing this pocket, and then we're going to do this one. Although we could start on this one, we, there are areas we can work with. Oh my god. Hang on. I could sit here and play a game for hours, and nobody will bug me. The second I start recording, my phone just explodes. All right, so what we're going to do is start launching these guys in assaults, then this away. All righty. So, oh, they're under attack is what's going on here. They're trying to get down that way, really? Interesting, interesting, interesting indeed. So you guys are going here. I don't think there's a lot of men in this little tiny pocket here, but we'll figure out exactly how many it is. 17 hours. Get rid of these guys, finally. Should we want to, we could do this. I mean, it's not going to make any difference whatsoever. Just for shits and get I mean, get, get them some combat experience they wouldn't have otherwise had. It's just, it's just attacking straight into the open plain, so... Ooh, we took that city! Nice. And we're going to do help with recruitment, because that's a free 25,000 men. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. When this pocket completely falls... So what we're going to do is you guys... Oh, you're under attack. Just throw everybody into it. Let them retreat down to here. And, well, I, I think a lot of these units have been overrun and destroyed before they're actually going to make it to the final pocket. So, territorial pride, national unity. National unity is already very high, but I'm okay with that. Just 
Just let, just let these guys grind up some experience. Experience for everybody. Look at all that. Oh, there's a lot, he's working. This guy's been all over the place, so these, they're just working on a lot of stuff. What do I support? Artillery. Like, this guy could probably use an addition of... Ooh. Well, he's about... His, his artillery is about to finish up a... An upgrade there, it looks like. 99%. Let's let it tick by a day. Boom, there we go. Uh, change of command after the last defeat, someone needs to pay. Lose 50 officers, gain descent. Blame the politicians, lose organization. 50 officers is not that much, really. Alright, a city fell. And we'll launch the tanks south like this. I don't know why they're not pushing Odessa. I mean, they can easily. Like this. Support attack from these guys with their combined arm support. Are they at Whoa! Oh, no, no, that was what I was say. Are they actually about to break through there? No, there is actually uh, some tanks there holding out perfectly fine. Upgrades. It's like, I, I'm... Sometimes I'm, I'm hesitant to do the... Up upgrade these guys at all because they are, you know, special units. But, at the same time, it doesn't have the special colored name here. So it should be pretty safe. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can have eight. We have six. We have infantry... Motorized support. Artillery. Is that... Oh, okay. Um, so if we wanted to make these guys even stronger, do SS Panzers. Rocket. Rocket artillery. SS Air... It's a shame we don't have SS Assault Guns. Anti-aircraft, though, I think is going to be worth it. Just one. Panzers and some anti-aircraft guns. Just looking, I'm just looking around going, what SS units could I throw in there? I think that makes me, that makes me happy. And you are going to go to the top of the list. I mean, he's not going to, well, six months. Ugh. Those tanks, that's why. And this guy, what about you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He could use something else as well. He has, uh, he could use SS tanks as well. Why not? 169, 26 IC for that long. That is a, that is asking for a lot. Alrighty. Agriculture. Since the, we are at war, the supply of food has become essential for our victory. Industrialization of the farms. Lose mo Oh, yeah. Free supplies? Fuck yeah. Now, I don't think there's much here. But we'll attack them and see what is there. Yeah, it's not much. But they're going to get wiped out. Definitely reducing this pocket now. Taking care of that. Taking care of this. Now we're going to let these guys get their organization up, then decide what to do with them then. And did you guys upgrade yet? Small arms, improved security units? No. Let's take a look at revolt risk. It's still pretty bad pretty much everywhere. But we don't have a lot of security units just yet. So the pocket has been partially surrounded. It looks like there are more units falling back into it, but I don't know how how long they're gonna it's gonna take before they get there. They're pretty much overrun at this point. The Soviets definitely see what's happening. They're trying like hell left and right to uh, to save their men, but it's not gonna get them anywhere. So let's see you can continue down this way. Is that really zero? I'll just let them continue on. I like how those 
Those trucks are pretty easy to destroy, it seems. Well, they are just soft-sided trucks, so it's not a big deal. Alright, we can't do anything there, but we can launch you here. We need, to, we need to make sure that the units on the front stay on. Ooh, supply issues. But that's 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 okay. The uh, the pocket's getting reduced right now, so I'm not worried about the supply issues because that's going to be a moot point pretty soon. Ooh, that those cavalry are actually. Maybe it's a territorial pride starting to kick in. Maybe that's maybe that's some of it. Those guys are about to get wiped out. It's gonna free up a shit ton of troops. Gonna be a lot of reorganization when this is over, though. He's pretty good. Logistical uh, wizard and logistical master. And that's gonna trickle down through the entire army, which is gonna be nothing but good for me. Anything logistical related is very important. And when I first started playing this game, I never really realized how important it was to keep you know make sure you keep your supply lines you know open and good make sure supplies get to your troops and things like that never really paid that much attention to it and boy did i lose a lot of games because of it you get into the soviet union and then realize oh i ran out of supplies yeah, they're hitting me pretty they're, they're hitting the 15th infantry division pretty hard right now but he doesn't have a lot of support at the moment can actually do this if we wanted to I actually think I just threw some core level commands in there. Whoops. Right, we're doing good here. Striking, striking them. Very nice, very nice. The pocket's getting reduced from all sides now. This one fell. This little, this minor pocket fell. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to move all these troops down this way. Actually, let's do this. Yeah, there we go. Probably have you fall back. Just because they are hitting me pretty hard there, and I don't want this division to completely break and run. They can kind of break and run, but not completely break and run. What are we attacking over here? Maybe they ran out of supplies. I hate it how it says zero. Hate that. I mean, it's not zero. It's actually very, very good. It's closer to a thousand. It's it's very high. Large air search radar. Yep, they're attacking me again. Oh, it's a different unit, though. That's okay. We're actually going to need you to stay right there. The tanks can move in, though. Oh, do boy, do they ever see what we are. We <laughs> they, they, they ever know what's happening now. Boy, do they ever know what's happening now. But we're going to have to leave this episode right here. We'll completely finish reducing the the, the pocket here. Um, I don't know what to call it. I don't have any major cities in there. It's not... Um, the 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 Dnipir pocket, maybe? Dnipir? Is that how you pronounce it? Dnipir? I, I'm going to go with that. The Dnipir pocket. I kind of like the sound of that. I like the sound of that. So, everybody, if you've enjoyed this episode, just drop me a like. Leave me those comments right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays Hearts of Iron 3, just subscribe to this channel, and I will see you next time.